This video explains how to generate reports using the Phoenix AFC Administrator Advanced Fuel Control software. Once the software is launched, you can select reports by either going to the report selection on the menus, or you can select the report icon along the icon bar. Once that is selected, a report selection window will open. It will normally open at the Transaction tab for default because that's where most reports are generated. On the left hand side of that tab you'll see Select a Report. This lists the different types of transaction reports that can be selected. You can run reports grouped by vehicle number, driver number, vehicle department, driver department, by card numbers, by sites, by fueling positions, etc. On the right side you see a date time range selection. The from date, that box will normally show you the earliest dated transaction in the database and the to date will show you the latest dated transaction in the database. Keeping in mind that you can only run uh, transaction reports on those transactions that have been downloaded from the fuel system. Below the date time range you will see a selection for all or one. The name of that selection will change depending upon what report you have selected on the left. In this instance I'm doing grouped by vehicle number so it says vehicle selection. I can select to run a report on all vehicles or I could select to run on one individual vehicle then I would just select that vehicle from the drop down box. Under that selection box is the report type report type would be a full report. Full report would list each individual transaction for whatever I have selected on the left. A summary report will only show me the totals for that and not show me each individual transaction. For database selection, should you wish to run report on transactions that are in the active database, uh, you, would, you would leave it at default for active database. If you have archived transactions from the active database into an archived database, then you would select Archived Database. Below Database Selection is New Page After Each Report. What that means is on the report generated, if I am running a report on multiple items, it would generate a new page every time that item changes. In this instance I am showing a report group by vehicle number. I'm just going to leave the default dates in there and I'll click preview and that should generate a report. When you see that report what it will do is it will take each vehicle starting with the first one in the list, show each transaction for that vehicle in chronological order and give a subtitle, a subtotal for that vehicle. Then it will go along to the next vehicle. If I click close here, I could go back and run a summary report and preview that report. What that then does is shows me each vehicle but only shows me the total for each vehicle for that reporting period. Should I then want to print that report, I would select the print button. After selecting the print button, I would choose a printer that is assigned to my PC and then that report would then print on that printer. If you wish to run a report group by vehicle department or driver department, uh, the differences in those two reports are that it will first sort by the department number, then within that department it will sort by either driver number or vehicle number, then it will sort in chronological order and give you a report based on those parameters. So if I run a similar report grouped by vehicle department, click preview, what you will then see is you will then see the summary for each department because I, I selected summary. So it shows vehicle department 1, vehicle department 2, 3, starting with vehicle department 0, or if I select a full report preview, First it shows me Department 0, then it will give me the vehicles within Department 0 in numerical order. Uh, it will then give me subtotals for each one of those vehicles in that report. 
Other types of reports that you can run are reports by driver, so the drivers that are in your system, the vehicle class, the vehicles that are in your system, the cards or keys that you have assigned in your system. All of that information is available to be printed as reports. Thank you.